in the earlier video we discussed about uh, maximizing and minimizing four variables out of five five variables and, and it was relatively okay in terms of complexity now we, we would look at maximizing uh, probably three variables out of five variables it will be a little bit more complex in nature as compared with that of the earlier case so uh, let's uh, see how to go about that I have retained the data set here uh, the same data set uh, there are hundred students in total appearing in five different exams and uh, number of students passing in these five different exams is uh, given by uh, these numbers 95 students pass in physics 90 students pass in maths 18 chemistry 16 English and 10 history so I find I need to find I need to find the mac uh, the maximum number of uh, students that pass three exams so let's draw our XY plane here so this is my y axis this is my x axis we have total 100 students so we'll draw the equation of line x is equal to 100 parallel to y axis this is my x is equal to 100 line so now I am looking at minimizing or uh, sorry uh, maximizing number of students who pass in three exams so let's start with P physics I have to consume 95 l units of length so let's say I draw a 95 unit length segment right now I have to consume 90 from maths or M now in order to maximize I must make the overlaps uh, I, I must look at maximizing the overlaps so I must not cons uh, consider this part which has zero lines in the range 0 to 95 I already have one line so I can put n the net net length of 90 at any any place uh, from 0 to 95 from z it could be from 0 to 90 or 1 to 91 or 5 to 95 anywhere so let's take it from here only 0 to 90 so let, let's keep at 90 now again in case of C chemistry I need to populate 8 80 so there, there, there are three different ra uh, range of values of x one is from 0 to 90 then 90 to 95 and from 95 to 100 so 95 to 100 has no lines 90 to 95 has one line and 0 to 90 has two lines so this is the maximum overlap area so I'll try to have maximum of this almost all of this in this area only so let's say that I'm I could populate it from probably you know 9 to 89 or 10 to 90 or 0 to 80 any anywhere in this range uh, from 0 to 90 so let's take 0 to 80 only so this is my 80 now if you remember the question I'm looking at maximizing the number of students that are passing in three subjects so three subjects mean would mean three lines I have to look at maximizing the three lines the common part of the three lines right so I already have till now the sum as 80 maximum as 80 for three lines now I have to consume a 60 unit length of E so in order to do that if you notice this length is from here from 80 to 100 this length is 20 so if I have to introduce a 60 some part must come here and if if it comes here some part of the three line here with, uh, in the range 0 to 80 will become 4 line if it will become 4 line then some part of this length 80 will be eaten up which means in any case my final value would be less than 80 then the number of uh, students maximum number of students you know uh, passing 3 uh, exams or 3 subjects is going to be less than 80 this is pretty obvious from here so let's say I just want to see how because there's one thing if, if I were to take entire 60 over here let's say I'm trying to see take 60 in the entire range I will make the entire uh, range from 0 to 60 say as that of 4 line and then this will not serve my purpose because I'll only be left with 20 here right so 
I am I I should not be looking at eating too much into this uh, of this length 80. So I'll have to make a choice of you know another thing here is that since these are three lines and here there are two lines if I am able to get one line here in the range 80 to 90 I will have additional one line making the this region also that of three lines if there are three lines in this region as well then I am actually while at the one hand I am uh, getting this length reduced this net length of 80 reduced I am trying to compensate to some extent if not at all but to some extent by increasing in this region and I have one another variable to follow with 10 length and if I can add that 10 length somewhere you know uh, I have something like uh, you know uh, let's say I have something like this let's say I have something like this and I have something like this let's say so right so, so what is happening is this this part has three lines this part would have three lines and this part also would have three lines so thinking on those lines thinking on these lines let's say if I am saying that I have a five units here consumed here I have a ten units consumed here and let's say I have uh, I'm left with how much 45 right so I have 45 here right if, if I have a distribution like this I'm saying that this part is 80 minus 45 this part is 35 it has three lines this is my region of consideration these are four lines so this is not in my consideration this again has three lines so it has 10 so I have 35 plus 10 and this part this part has as of now two lines but what I can do is I can introduce this H such that I have 10 from 90 to 100 so what will happen is even this part will become three three lines so I can add a five over here as well right so I have a 35 from here I have a 10 from here three lines and I have a 5 from here right this is this is, this is the limiting value of 5 so in all how much do I have I have 50 so but can we increase the value even more than 50 is it possible so let's see if we can let's see if we can let's let's see so let's say if let's say if I were to take this as let's say this is 40 right and let's say this is 10 okay and let's say this is this it is 90 and this is 10 so I have my 60 over here and this is these are three lines these are four lines these are three lines and this is two lines till now if I add a 10 from here to here right I have a three line here as well so all I'm having is 40 from here 40 from this region 10 uh, 10 these are also three lines in this range this is not to be considered this is 10 so I have a 10 from here and if you see this from 90 to 95 I have a 5 additional 5 here so I am getting a value of 55 yes indeed I can have this fig uh, figure of more than 50 so if I take this as 40 I'm able to take the maximum value to 55 so you know
can this be more than 55 if let's say if I am making this 39 instead of 40 but can that be possible no it cannot be because if I make it 39 I must have a 21 to be consumed which cannot happen because only 20 units of lengths are left in my right hand side because um, you know 100 minus 80 is 20 I cannot have 21 units over here so it cannot be in any case I must have at least 40 to be chosen over this 0 to 80 length so 40 is my minimum limiting criteria and corresponding to 40 no matter where you choose on this range 0 to 80 be it 0 to 40 1 to 41 or in this case as in this case 40 to, 40 to 80 no matter where you choose I, 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 I can easily say that 40 from this region 10 from this region and 5 from this region will give me the maximum value of 55 this indeed was tricky but you know essentially it's all logical reasoning you need to work out what is the you know f uh, this is the limiting value I cannot go below below 40 in choosing my length in this particular area from 0 to 80 and if I go on increasing this value let's say I have instead of 40 I have a 41 then I am uh, having a 39 over here and then my value tends to go down so the idea is that I, I, I do some logical reasoning stuff here and, and the basic of the entire thing remains the same when I'm trying to maximize the number of students I'm trying to maximize the overlap area so whenever you know in five variable or six variable problem we are tending to go towards maximizing or minimizing a, a relatively lower number of variables let's say for example in this case uh, we are looking at a five variable problem and trying to maximize three variables it becomes a little tricky but this is something that's that can easily be you know handled using uh, generic common sense hope this uh, gives you some uh, knowledge on how to go about solving such questions and uh, hope this is really useful for you thank you